6:17 this morning. We're not going to deal with any rain here in North Alabama, fortunately. Just a lot of heat today. But I guess it's not fortunately because then it's still going to be hot. So right. it's a give or yeah. take. It's going to be hot. We have football on our TVs, Rob. We want that fall weather. It's coming, but uh, yeah, still plenty more heat to go here in North Alabama. And thankfully for Middle Tennessee today, we are tracking dry conditions with that ongoing recovery. But it's going to be hot and humid as well there. Look at that sunrise here this morning. Beautiful sunrise, just some passing clouds right now. 70 in Huntsville, but we are dealing with a little bit of fog up there this morning, especially closer to Lake Gun. Huntersville in the Peyton Rock River Basin. So please give yourself some time if traveling closer to those low lying spots. What you'll need today, of course, dress for the heat. Make sure those kids are ready to go. It's already muggy out there this morning. Make sure you have the sunglasses, the sunblock, but you will not need that rain gear for today. Even tomorrow, we're going to stay mostly dry other than a pop up or two. And it looks like we're just now seeing that sun coming up on our Decatur sky. Can we see it right there? These are high clouds. And once uh, we see the fog clear out, plenty of sun to race up to about the low to mid 90s here this afternoon. Visibility now up to six miles in Decatur. So we're seeing even the visibility improving for the Decatur area this morning. On the way, 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Uh, what you're seeing right there, those are actually sunrise spikes. So the radar actually picks up on the sunrise coming up. So we're not tracking a line of showers and storms. Storms, just a spike from the sunrise this morning. Other than that, we are tracking dry conditions that will stay dry all day today. Heading out the door this morning up to 80 by 9 a.m. We'll clear out by 8 a.m. for that fog in some of those low lying spots and just make sure you have that sun protection today. Not only are we worried about the heat and the humidity, UV index is up to the very high range. Burn time is about 15 minutes. Worst time of the day is when the sun is at the highest point in the sky. That's closer to about one o'clock in the afternoon. Tuesday afternoon planner, 94 for the kids heading out from school, but look at the heat index values between 100 and 105. It will see similar conditions again for tomorrow. Then we're about back down to the upper 90s by Thursday, Friday and Saturday. That's because the air temperature gets pulled back down to the upper 80s because of the showers and thunderstorms. We're not tracking any of that today, just some passing high clouds this morning and just seeing a few fair weather clouds building up in the afternoon heat for today. By tomorrow morning, we start off dry, likely still some more fog we're dealing with closer to the lake and river basins and then right around 1 2 o'clock occasionally seen some pop up showers possibly even an isolated thunderstorm closer to Jackson to cabin Marshall County and that's about the extent of it for tomorrow everyone else staying dry and we continue to see just a few pop ups into the early evening hours and once we lose the heat of the day we're done Rainfall forecast, this goes all the way through 11 p.m. tomorrow night, and you'll notice where we're seeing the greens on the map. It's about a trace to a tenth of an inch, most areas staying dry. Then the map starts to fill in by Thursday, Friday, all the way through Monday of next week. About a half an inch to an inch of rainfall, we're seeing the blues on the map. You'll notice about three quarters of an inch for Huntsville, about a half an inch for Scottsboro and Fort Payne. It's about average for this time of the year. Future radar and satellite, this is Thursday morning, and we start off dry, and then as we heat things up, we're starting to see showers and storms moving in from out of the south and southeast and a pretty good coverage of storms through your Thursday afternoon. So be prepared for a little bit of active weather later this work week. Friday, you'll notice it drops off some, so not as much coverage with the showers and storms as we finish off the work week. We're also seeing the tropics starting to pick back up. We have three tropical waves we're watching. These two, not much of an impact, but this one right here, this one has the possibility of developing over the next five days as it approaches the Yucatan Peninsula and possibly moves into the Gulf of Mexico. Most of the data pushes it either into Mexico or Texas, but still need to keep an eye on it with about a 60% chance of development. A look at your Sunday forecast, mid 90s the next two days, and then back down to the upper 80s by Thursday and Friday, and then closer to the mid 80s as we wrap up the weekend with daily chances for pop-up showers and storms. All right, thank you, Rob.